Hello and welcome. So, this is Skyblock Sun on MC Hub. I saw this server through someone, not Connor. You can go check him out. So, sh shout out to him. He was part of the MC, uh, or sorry, the, the Kuma MC crew. So, I saw him and uh, saw up some of his videos and saw that he was, he did stuff on here. So, I was like, all right, I mean, it must be interesting, right? I've already done a few things. Uh, oh, use our recommended version 1.18 or above. I'm not in that version right now, and I'm not going to switch to that version right now, because I don't want to switch versions, but that is pretty freaking cool. Like, I don't know how to... S oh, hello. Island levels, generators, island upgrades, spawners, shards, collection box, unit, you know, custom hopper, cell wands, robots... Huh? I just know that there's PvE, and that was mainly what I was after. I feel like I'm not sure how to start this. I'm just going to not touch anything for now. So you spend these little credits to unlock levels, and it adds, like, slight things. So I have enough that I could probably get to maybe here. What's the island cave? The island cave is a unique feature in, uh, <clears throat> of Skyblock. There will be a cave where players can mine at and also deposit minor robots by right-clicking the cave manager to gather ores. Caves can be upgraded via purchasing island... Purchasing island to make your minor robots more efficient and upgrade new ores to make more and more money. There's a lot to this island. I'm assuming this would be the... Maybe not the cave? What's up here? Hey, look at that. There's a there's a chest. And this. And I can't walk over it because I'm in the wrong version of Minecraft. So let me jump around it. And nothing in the chest. Cool. Really worth it. Oh, God. Oh, shit, dude. It's got, like, little quests. That's awesome. I am definitely going to start with that, because that is something I absolutely love. So we need to set up a little bit of a cobblestone generator. Okay, I mean, technically, couldn't I just mine stone in here? Isn't that also... There's, there's water right there. No, it has to be an actual cobblestone. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. I'm not sure how to, like, start on here, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm figuring it out. So lava goes there, water goes there, and then that will turn that into that. The PvE area is probably my favorite thing in this. It's, it's just hands down what I'm going to be doing. For a long time until i can figure out the rest of this stuff and see what it does a little bit more cavil quest complete nice that felt like it finished super quickly but i'll take it iron robot and a small credits pouch which will give me oh that's kind of a cool system 193 nice that's super sick and then we got an iron robot okay so he gets me things i guess you can hold one thing but 64 of each i don't know how to really make use of this guy because I don't- I'm assuming that that's the cave, but how does it work? Because eventually it's going to run out of stuff, right? I guess what I'll do is I'll set him here, because at least he'll get me something. He'll be mining the coal and get me a little bit as he goes. Oh, wait a minute. That, uh, wait, he requires power. That's right. He won't do anything until I have power, so he's basically useless. So let's, let's put him up for now. Let me do the slash quest. I think that's how I'm going to start. Harvest 200, or uh, how much wheat did I say? Oh, was 200. Well, where's the wheat? Let me see warps again. I guess that's something I could do. Let's warp PvE. I know it has a cave. There is a wheat farm, if I'm not mistaken, or an A farm somewhere. I'll look around and see what else there is. I know there's this giant, like, there's this cave area down here where I can kill things and I can mine, which is literally my favorite feature. This is this is probably hands down going to be my favorite feature. I'm also going to kill you at tier 2, which is pretty tough, but eh, actually not really. As long as I keep my distance. 15 XP, and he gave me a generator fuel. There are some carrots here, which if I just chop them up, I can get, you know, some carrots, and I can sell. I believe I did this already, and it gave me a decent amount of money, so this is pretty damn good. I guess what I'll do is I will take these seeds, I'll chop up all these carrots, and I will place down uh, one wheat seed for now. Those grow really fast. Never mind, I'll just wait. Apparently, they grow ridiculously fast. I guess for now, I'll just keep chopping up this wheat. I mean, it's if it keeps growing ridiculously out of nowhere like that, I mean, why wouldn't I? I don't know how it does that. I should build an area for this. I, I, I'm going to start... Yeah, I'm going to stop replanting. I'm going to go and build, like, in a little area. I don't know how far out I can build, though. I definitely want to commit to this a bit, but in the future, when, like, Skybounds and the other servers start uh, coming back, I'm probably going to end up doing those again. I have broken 114 wheat already. It's pretty damn good. Hey, quest completed! Nice! I basically set this farm up for no reason, but that's fine. I get a another iron robot. Uh, does it say it's a farmer robot? Ooh, okay. I want to see him activate. It, it seems like it's slowed down a little bit, but maybe I have to, like, actively move around. The iron is using more power than it can produce. You need to refuel your upgrade generator spawner speed. 25%. So 25% of the spawner speed. I'm assuming this is the same thing. Well, I'll just let him do his thing, and I'll, I'll, I'll just go do some other stuff. So I need to go to the PvE world, I do believe. I need to kill 35 skeletons. Obviously, my armor's not the best. I need to get better. Um, were there skeletons in here? Weather skeletons. 
Uh, there's zombies. I need. S oh, there are skeletons. No, pl sir, please. I need the skeletons. Oh, you're a dick. Grinding skills reached level one. Oh, what does that get me? Uh, oops, not that. Sorry. Skills that got me. Um, siphon one ability, twenty shards, and fifty thousand credits. Wait, do I have to claim it? I do. Twenty shards and fifty thousand credits. Nice. Can I mine this? Sure can. I want to see if a wither skeleton counts. Except they're tier 2 and they look pretty freaking scary. Maybe I shouldn't be doing that. This is probably a very bad idea. Oh god, I don't want to get stuck on the lily pads. Endermen are very angry. Oh, they're very angry. Oh, they're very, very angry. Uh, hey man, I changed my mind. I don't want to be here, I don't think. Can you mine a beacon? You can. It gives you shards. Probably not very efficient. I feel like I'm going to need to do enchanting, though, but the problem is I need gems for that. Because I don't need food in this area as well, which is good, but no, please, I need the skeleton. Please, sir, I just need the skeleton. That's the only thing I need. Okay, so I can just stand here and smack you guys. I really don't want the fallen miner, but I'll kill him anyways. I need enchants. That's what I really need. But the problem is I get the enchants through the shards, but I get the shards through killing these guys. It's kind of a grind, actually. How many skeletons am I at right now? I am at 19 out of 35, but no more spawning. Or actually, if they are spawning, they're going over there, and that guy is just absolutely dumpstering on them. Hey, Battle Pass Year 3! Nice! I'll have to check that in a second. So I did, in fact... I thought it said I got to Tier 3. Oh, is this the stuff I get? No, it's definitely not, because I don't have the premium stuff, right? Yeah. I got that. Ah, I got a voting crate. Nice little animation. Okay, hopefully I get something good. 200,000 credits! Nice! Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go to my island real quick. So that only gives me now 24 minutes instead, but it's more. It'll fuel everything. No, he does farm it. Okay, so he only farms one at a time, though. All right, well, I guess back to the area. I need to go and get uh, more things. I need I need more uh, skeletons, really. I'm assuming that the better tier guys give more fuel. Or at least better fuel, maybe. Ugh, there's so many. Ugh, fall down there. No, God, there's so many of you guys. There's so many of them. This is ridiculous, the amount of things that he has. Okay, maybe I can jump up here and, like, bait him. Oh my god, okay, this is getting a little too hectic for me. This is getting a little too hectic, I'm just gonna run. Okay, that's done, and I got an uncommon crate. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm good. Bye. I did, in fact, complete the quest, which gives me a large credits pouch, an epic generator upgrade, and an, uh, oh, I had the uncommon crate. 1.5 million credits, and then I want to open up this un- um, and create right here and see what I get. Small shard pouch. Yes, give me a lot. <gasps> 3,700. Nice. So this is a epic upgrade generator. Right click your generator to upgrade the following stats. Efficiency boost, power boost, and capacity. What is my next quest? My next quest is mine. 350 cobblestone. There's things I should add. Ore search chance to upgrade the ores around you in a three block radius. Uh, to the next tier. Replenish an ore instantly. Chance to get shards while mining ores. Oh, that's pretty, that's pretty cheap, too. That might be worth getting. Almost there, and then I can move on. And I, I, this quest system's kind of cool. Oh, and that is it. That is the quest done. So now my next one is mine 75 beacons. I've already done that twice. And that gives me an Endermite spawner and 3,000 charge. I really hope nothing spawns on me to try and kick my ass. New dungeon is opened. Join the dungeon by typing uh, slash dungeon. What? Whoa. Oh. Dear God. Can I mine this? No. I'm gonna leave. No, I don't wanna be here. Nope. Nope. I'm good. Congratulations, quest complete. Let me break one more. Okay, I can't really build it. Well, I guess I can, but I think couldn't break it with lucky going. They did give me four shards, but I don't know if it's from that. Harvest 250 nether war. That gives me an endermite spawner and 3,000 shards. I'm gonna go ahead and go to my island real quick. Let me just place this here. So you place it down, it spawns in endermites, and you can upgrade its levels using uh, the, uh, the shards. Okay, so I can kill him by hand. Oh, shit, hey. For now, I'm gonna go and pick you up, because I don't really want you to... I don't want to waste my fuel. And I still want to use this rare uh, key here in a second, but I want to make sure that this is well protected so none of my stuff goes just flying all over the place, because I really need to collect it. All right. Well, now I just kind of kind of got to wait, don't I? Huh. I have a feeling I'm not getting anything too... Or getting... In, yeah, I don't think I'm getting anything too crazy. Medium credit pouch. Eh, all right. Well, you know what? I... I think I'm gonna check out the dungeon. Let me let me store up anything I don't want to lose. You take a lot of hits. I think I'm trapped down here. I'm just gonna smash spawn out. <laughs> All right, dungeon's not it. My mistake. I'll just I'll just learn my place real quick. I'm AFK. I promise. Smile. Grow my crops. I'm trying to be careful because I want to break the ones that are still trying to grow. Oh, uh, grazing exhausted. Damn. That gave me a lot though. <gasps> More. More have grown. Please. Yes. Quest completed. 
I don't know if this is going to be better. I feel like potatoes might have been the best option in the end, but I can always, like, change it out later. This is just, you know, just a little test. Just testing shit out. I don't know if it'll even farm this stuff. I have to wait for it to grow to find out, but I probably won't find out. I can't activate him. Oh, there we go. I'll let him do his thing, and I'll probably check on it periodically. Uh, but that's it for YouTube side. Guys, let me know if you want to see me do some more on the server. Comment down below. Leave a like on this video. Subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in the next one.